Hi, I'm Tricia, an organic gardener. I grow organically for a healthy and safe food supply, for a clean and sustainable environment, for an enjoyable and rewarding experience. In English, this is a pomegranate. In Spanish, it's called a granada. And some people think that since it's an ancient fruit, the city of Granada in Spain may be named after it. It's a superfood rich in antioxidants. Let's plant a pomegranate tree. I'll show you how. Pomegranate trees are very container adaptable and they're often used as landscape or patio trees because of their dark green foliage and beautiful orange flowers. Many varieties of pomegranates are hardy down to 10 degrees Fahrenheit and can be grown in USDA zones 7B to 12. Pomegranates are most productive in arid climates, but they will grow in tropical and subtropical climates like Florida and Hawaii. Ideally, you'll plant a pomegranate in a heavy loamy soil. However, they'll tolerate anything from sandy all the way to clay. I'm planting mine in a Peaceful Valley potting soil and I'm using a smart pot. Pomegranates need at least six hours of sunlight a day. Find a nice sunny spot in your yard to plant your tree. These smart pots were originally designed for tree nurseries and they last about three to five years, which is perfect because that's about how often you should repot your trees. Plant pomegranates either in late winter or early spring. Just slide them out of the sleeve and you're going to want to wash off about the first inch of soil. This helps the roots get established. Plant the tree to about the same level it was planted in the nursery. Water the tree right after planting, and it should be happy in this pot for about three to five years. After that, I'll repot it. I'm gonna train my pomegranate as a small tree. To train as a tree, snip off any branches that come off the tree lower than one foot. Scaffolding branches are the big main branches of the tree, like these. Ideally, you want five to seven symmetrically placed scaffolding branches. This will help your tree form a strong, compact structure. If your tree doesn't have these nice scaffolding branches, you want to do a heading cut at about two to two and a half feet. Next winter, I'm going to head back these scaffolding branches by about three-fifths. If you live in the coldest of pomegranate growing zones, zone 7B, you should probably train it as a multi-trunk or shrub. That way, if there is a very cold frost, you probably won't lose the whole tree. Pomegranates fruit on new wood, so the annual maintenance you should do is to cut back any dead wood or thin out the middle and cut the suckers. You also want to head them back lightly just to encourage the new fruiting wood. Pomegranate trees are very drought tolerant once they're established, but you should still water them in the summer every two to four weeks. That will help fruit production. Proper irrigation can also help prevent the fruit from splitting in the fall. Fertilize with a balanced fruit tree fertilizer in February, May, and September, and give it about one ounce for every foot of tree. You can juice them like an orange, or you can take the seeds out and put them in salads or as a dessert topping. However you like them, make sure and plant one and grow organic for life.